Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. We are gonna be running the cows and calves through the chute today, and we are going to be vaccinating the calves, uh, breed checking the cows, and also we're gonna be castrating the bulls into steers. So the vet is gonna be here around 11 a.m. It's just after 10. We got the calves in the pole shed pushed down into one of the lower lots. We got my cows from the barnyard pushed into the second lot. And now we're trying to get the calves down in the steer lot into the barnyard so that we can push them up into the pole shed. We're gonna run them through first and we're gonna kick them right back out to the steer lot so that way we can uh, just push my cows out. And we'll probably end up doing them last. I guess we could do them in either order, but uh, if we're doing the uh, steers first, we might as well just do all of them in one go to kind of keep the rhythm going. So we're gonna put bales in the barnyard right now to try to lure the steers up this is usually where we struggle the most just getting all the calves up in the barnyard it's even not really that much of a struggle but i think once we get a couple bales put up in there it'll, have, it'll give them more incentive to come up they'll get curious half of them up in the crazy half is still down there so we're gonna try to push them up Stand down here and watch this gate so they don't try to pole vault it Matt just showed up. Time to put the receiver hitch on and back it into the pole shed. It's always a good feeling when this job is done. I'm gonna park the JCB over here so they can't push against these gates.
Y15, open. Shield and ultra back. Okay. And then the tetanus and then. We got all the cows run through the chute. We gave all the calves their vaccinations. We banded the bulls, so they're gonna be steers. This year went a lot better than it did last year, that's for sure, because after we were done running the cows through the chute this time around, uh, I had a big moment of relief because doing the math, uh, last year I had 15 out of 40 that were bred. So all the other ones were open and I was trying to decide, you know, was it the bull, which, I know now it definitely was, um, or was it the cows? So, you know, one of the options on the table was to sell the cows that were open. And I'm glad I didn't because I went to the cattle sale in Bloomington Livestock last spring and bought another bull from the same people. And uh, he definitely did the job this time around because only three were open this time, um, factoring in the ones that have already calved. So. Uh, I need to try to narrow that window up because that bull that I had last year that didn't get them all bred, 
he was still breeding well into after we had uh, done the breeding exam on him. I should have pulled him out right away, but at that moment in, a moment in time, I'm just like, if he breeds them, you know what, at least they're bred. But uh, yeah, I, I definitely should have pulled him out of there, but lessons learned uh, just because I'm having calves that are being born when it's real cold, which is why we went and Travis and I went down and tagged the calves that were down in the lot because uh, I didn't want to do it right away because right after they were born, we had some extremely cold weather and I didn't want to tag their ears. And they did have some frostbite around the tips of their ears too. So um, definitely want them, want them to calve in the spring and uh, it's less hard on the calves and the cows both that way. But I definitely feel a lot better because out of 41, I should have what 38 calves this spring and uh, some are anywhere between I mean they have like some have four months to go so that's getting really late but uh, I want to get them all narrowed up again uh, after that mishap last time around you know it kind of screwed up my routine schedule with the cows so um, I was kind of surprised because the calves that I had that we ran through the shoot today out of the four, 15 that I had um, only four of them were uh, bulls so I'm sitting here thinking to myself it's like well I guess I could keep back all the heifers and just uh, sell the four bulls that way because I paid last year I paid ahead on my cattle loan what I had of a cattle loan and uh, factoring in you know I was going to have less calves this year and uh, I'm ahead on that so I'm not going to need as much money to pay off a loan or a loan payment this year so uh, I'm hoping to get that paid off here relatively soon as well so anyway uh, that's pretty much it for today that's a very good job done and uh, I know that we're very relieved to have this out of the way um, I'm feeling a lot better after knowing that all the cows are bred this time around except for those three which I need to go back and look and see which one's calved and uh, I have a list in my phone but I need to just go back through and double check to see which numbers they are so anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all how farms work. Uh, I'm feeling extremely sore, and I know Travis is too after wrangling those calves. I'm not as young as I once was. So uh, yeah, I'll see you next time, guys.